So that's why today I've named the COVID-19 Transition Advisory Board. U.S. President-elect Joe Biden on Monday announced the formation of a new coronavirus task force to devise a blueprint for tackling the pandemic as he prepares to take office on January 20th. In doing so, he also implored Americans to wear masks to combat the virus, appealing to their patriotism. It doesn't matter your party, your point of view. We can save tens of thousands of lives if everyone would just wear a mask for the next few months. Not Democrat or Republican lives, American lives. The goal of mask wearing is not to make your life less comfortable or take something away from you. It's to give something back to all of us, a normal life. Biden also hailed as positive news Pfizer's announcement on Monday that its experimental COVID-19 vaccine was more than 90% effective, adding that the expectation is the vaccine would soon undergo an approval process with the Food and Drug Administration. The process must also be grounded in science and fully transparent so the American people can have every confidence that any approved vaccine is safe and effective. The U.S. has been registering record high infection numbers in recent days and over the weekend became the first nation in the world to surpass 10 million cases, forcing some lawmakers to take drastic actions, such as Utah's Republican governor, who late Sunday declared a new state of emergency, which included a mask mandate for the entire state and household only gatherings. Another Republican, Housing Secretary and retired surgeon Ben Carson, on Monday became the latest close Trump associate to test positive for the virus, just days after White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows also tested positive. The pandemic has killed more than 230,000 Americans and put millions more out of work. So that's why today... All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakodash. Yahweh is the true, holy, and powerful name of Heavenly Father. Bahasham meaning the name. Yahweh Shai is the true, holy, and powerful name of His only begotten Son, who is the Savior of the nation of Israel, starting off with the elect within the nation of Israel. And Israel consists of you so called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, as well as your Israelite foreigners scattered abroad that may look like the nations where you've been scattered to, but are Israelites. And I also want to give double honors to the elders. And apostles of great millstone who rule well, peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, pushing out this word in all sincerity and the truth. All right, so this is the brother you call from the GMS branch out in Des Moines, Iowa, coming back at you with another lesson inspired by the Holy Spirit, Habakkuk And uh, what I want to entitle this lesson, Lord's Will, is what will be the cost of normalcy? All right, what will be the cost of normalcy? All right, and the reason I want to uh, go into that, uh, as you heard in the clip, you got President-elect Joe Biden speaking about um things going back to normal all right and um let me grab this precept real quick before i go any further this is the book of uh psalms chapter Shalakia. All right, this is Psalm chapter 55 and verse 21. It says, uh, the words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords. And that's how these devils uh, speak. All right, they go out, they get on these platforms and they portray to the public that their intentions are really good and that they really want to help. All right, like uh, they've been talking about, oh man, we, we aren't going to leave the black community behind this time. We're going to make sure that they get their vaccinations first and so on and so forth. Like, all right, man. All right. You know, they're speaking sweetly. All right. As if their intents are good. But in reality, war is in their heart. All right. As the scripture said in the book of Sirach, the 12th chapter, we're going to hit that as well. And the scriptures tell us to never trust our enemy. All right. And the cost of normalcy. All right. What they're going to try and do is they're going to try and uh, force vaccinate or they're going to try and vaccinate everyone. But the end all be all goal of this devil is to get uh, everyone microchipped. All right. Receive the RFID chip. OK, for uh, for tracking. All right. And uh, other reasons are right? you won't be able to buy or sell unless you have the uh, market of beast, which is the RFID chip. So that's going to be the end all be all. So no matter what they portray in the media, no matter what they say, um, at the end of the day, their intents are wicked. All right. 
and just to throw you in a pit. All right, put you, uh, force you uh, to take uh, these vaccinations and this chip and then ultimately uh, be destroyed because that is going to be the consequence of if you receive the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast. But this is the book of Sirach, the 12th chapter. Um, Sirach chapter 12 and verse uh, 10, it says, never trust thine enemy for like his iron rusted, so is his wickedness. All right, so we aren't to trust our enemy. Okay, and our enemy, our chief enemy, this Esau Edom, as a matter of fact, let's go ahead and grab this in the book of Psalms. Chapter uh, 81 or 83. Yeah, this is Psalms chapter 83 and verse um, 1. It says, Keep not thou silence, O Yahweh. Hold not thy peace and be not still, O Yahweh. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. Right, so we're going to read about who the enemies of the Lord are and his people are. Verse 3, it says, Salakia. All right, um, let me turn this on. All right, so verse 3 says, They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. So their counsel is against you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. So no matter what they're pushing out there, all right, it's ultimately for your destruction. That's why the scripture says the tender mercies. Let's grab that real quick. All right, this is a uh, Proverbs 12 and 10. It says a righteous man regarded the life of his beast, but the tender mercies of the wicked are cruel. So these are different forms of them acting like they're showing mercy, acting like as if they're helping out. All right. Like they really care about you. Right. The tender mercies of the wicked are but cruel. So at the end of the day, all right, it's going to bring destruction upon you, man. If you fall into uh, trusting in, uh, trusting in these devils, trusting in our enemies, which we're going back to read about. This is back in Psalms 83 and verse uh, four again. They have said, come and let us cut them off. It says, come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. And that's what they did. All right. According to the prophecy, there will be a falling away first. All right. They stripped up, uh, stripped us of our heritage. OK, of who we are to the point to where we're just now coming back to the realization again that we are the Israelites, that we are the Lord's chosen people. It says, um, uh, for they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. Right. So let's read about these people that are confederate against uh, the Lord and his people. It says, verse six, the tabernacles of Edom. Right. So this is the chief enemy. This is the first nation that's listed. All right. The tabernacles of Edom. Edom is a so-called white man. All right. It says the tabernacles of Edom and the Ishmaelites. Right. The uh, Arabs. All right. And really Arabs mean mix means mix. But you have different um, uh, um, uh, different people amongst those Arabs. All right. You got the uh, uh, the children of Hagar and um I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, Ishmael and, and so on and so forth, right? But it says the Moab and the Hagarines, right? So, uh, you know, you got the so-called Chinese, all right? Hey, all these all these are nations that are against us, but the chief nation against us is the nation of Edom. It says Gabal and Ammon and Amalek, the Philistines with the inhabitants of Tyre, Ashur is also joined with them. They have hope in the children of Lot, Salah, right? So this is just going into the different enemies, but the point... The main point I wanted to grab is that the tabernacles of Edom, that's the chief enemy. So when we go back to the book of Sirach, the 12th chapter, Sirach chapter 12 and verse 10, it says, never trust thine enemy. So never trust Esau, Edom. All right. Don't trust what they're pushing out in the media. Hey, uh, you can't even trust the food that <laughs> that we're eating, man, that they're feeding us. All right. It's all types of chemicals and poisons in it. All right. So we are to trust our enemy. It says, though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed of heed and beware of him and thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped a looking glass and shall know that his rust hath not been altogether wiped away set him not by thee lest when he hath overthrown thee he stand up in thy place neither let him sit at thy right hand lest he seek to take thy seat and thou at the last remember my words and be pricked therewith who will pity a charmer that is bitten with the serpent or any as such as come nigh wild beasts right so who's gonna have pity on somebody here it is there a, a, a charmer Right, those charmers are the ones that are playing the flute, or right, making the uh, the the serpent dance and move and everything like that. If he gets bit with a serpent, who's gonna pity him? He's playing with the serpent. What well, the same thing with our people. You're trusting in this devil. You're trusting in the system. All right, there's gonna be no pity upon you because you've already been warned of not to trust this devil. Our right, people are trusting in the government. 
all right, as if they're going to benefit them, all right, as if uh, Biden is going to come in and, and save the day. No, at the end of the day, he's a serpent. He's an enemy. All right, he's of the nation of Edom. So at the end of the day, his intents towards you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, all right, is wicked. It says, so one that goeth to a sinner and is defiled with him in his sins, who will pity? For a while he abide with thee, it says, for a while he will abide with thee, but if thou begin to fall, he will not tarry. An enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips, but in his heart he imagineth how to throw thee into a pit. And that's exactly what these devils are doing. Speaking sweetly, but inwardly they're trying to figure out or they're, what they're doing is throwing you in a pit. They've set you up, all right? They've put you in a submission to where you're going to tap out and just take take the chip, take these vaccines, all right? They're going to continue to take away different um, liberties away from you to where you can't go to the grocery store, you can't go to the gym, you can't do X, Y, and Z, all right? Unless you get these vaccinations. We're going to go into another lockdown, all right? We're going to go into a lo another lockdown and people are going to get vexed to the point to where they'll be willing to do anything for things to go back to normal and that's when they're going to come in with the solution if you want things to go back to normal you want to go back to your normal life well get the get the uh vaccine get the rfid chip right and these things are going to destroy you it says um an enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips but in his heart he imagineth how to throw thee in a pit uh he will weep with his eyes but if you find opportunity he will not be satisfied with blood if adversity come upon thee, thou shalt find him there first. And though he pretend to help thee, yet shall he undermine thee. And that's what's happening. These devils are pretending to help you, pretending to assist you, but yet they are undermining you. Yet they are throwing you in a pit. Yet you are being led as a flock to the slaughter, as the scripture says. He will shake his head and clap his hands and whisper much and change his countenance. So that's that's what that's what's in store. All right, that's what's in store for the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American. All right, that's what Esau ha uh, Edom has uh, in place for you, man. All right, this is um. Let me see. That was pretty much, pretty much it. I'm trying to think. Of, uh, I think it was another point I wanted to grab on that uh, from this clip. Let me see. But yeah, all right, that's pretty much it. All right, so we already know, man. We're we're gonna enter into another lockdown. All right, it's gonna be uh, worse than the first lockdown. All right, and we have to prepare ourselves, as the scripture says. Let's end it off with this in the book of Isaiah, the tenth chapter. Isaiah chapter 10, because even though all these things are happening, even though Esau is going to uh, try to throw majority of our people, throw us into a pit. All right. These things aren't going to uh, affect the elect. All right. Because the elect is going to trust in Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shah, or should I say overcome the elect? All right. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 10 and verse 20. And it shall come to pass. Isaiah 10 and 20, and it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel and such as are escaped of the house of Jacob shall no more again stay upon him that smote them, right? That word stay meaning to rely. So the remnant, the elect is not going to rely on this devil. They aren't going to trust their enemy, right? It says, but shall stay or rely upon the Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh, the Holy One of Israel in truth. So that's what we have to do. Okay, that's exactly what we have to do. But, you know, Lord's will, this was just uh, exhorting, just a warning, you know, of of, uh, uh, of what's to come. All right. And, and hey, as the scripture says, we are not ignorant of Satan's devices. So we see that he's coming in, acting as if he wants to help and he's going to make these changes and it's going to be for the betterment. It's going to bring things back to normal. But at the end of the day, what's going to happen? You're going to be thrown into a pit. All right. If you trust in the system, if you trust in this devil, as opposed to trusting in Yahweh for your deliverance and for your safety, man. So having that being said, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakodash, the honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, pushing out this word in all sincerity and the truth. With that, I'm going to say Shalom.